Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here for the first time, then hello, welcome. In today's video, I am back with yet another Ray Dunn haul. I am so excited because I did get quite a few things in this haul and I'm actually going to be splitting it into two different videos. So when I did go up to Denver a couple days ago, I filmed a shop with me for you, but I didn't get enough footage to make it a whole entire video. So what I'm going to do is split the haul in half and I'm going to do a shop with me and haul video for my next video. And then this one will just be strictly a haul because there is, like I said, a lot of stuff. There is going to be some Valentine's Day stuff and also Easter stuff, which is exciting. Spring is right around the corner. It's like a month away, even though here in Colorado we get snow for so, so long. We even get it into May, but at least the warm weather is around the corner. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I picked up within the last week or so, just go ahead and keep on watching. So jumping right into this video, I am going to share with you a cute little gnome that I got. I actually got this from my cousin out in Arizona. I picked it up when we went to Arizona about a week ago and I'm so happy to finally have it. It is absolutely adorable and I posted a picture of it over on my Instagram, which if you guys do not follow me, please do so. It's just Molly Nicole XO. The link is always in the description box down below. This was purchased from Marshalls for $6.99. I did take the tag off of it already, but this is what the little guy looks like. I am absolutely obsessed with the light pink color. I love his little beard that he has and the cute little heart. This is just the cutest thing ever. You guys already know if you've been watching me for a while, I love gnomes so, so much. They are just the absolute cutest. So. I decided to pick this one up because I do have two other gnomes that are red and I honestly may get rid of them. I'm not 100% sure, but I was just never 100% happy with my decor on my coffee bar area where my birdhouse is. So we shall see what I end up doing, but I absolutely love the pink. I decorate a lot with pink for Valentine's Day, especially because Christmas there's so much red and then I just kind of want the red gone. So a lot of my decor is based on like a light pink color, not a whole lot of reds. So now moving into the Ray Dunn portion of the haul, I got four different candles. I got one out in Arizona, which I'm actually going to be returning, I think, because I found the smaller version of it and I like it a lot more. So the first one that I found was the one in Arizona. This is the big candle. It is the Happy Easter one and this does retail for $12.99. The scent on this one is Pink Peony. And it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's also not my favorite. You guys probably know as well, I don't really ever burn my Ray Dunn candles, so I usually just use them for decor purposes only. This matches my shirt almost perfectly. I love this shade of pink. I kind of want to grab this candle right over here so you guys can kind of see the color difference between them. So this is the Love Candle. And then this is the Happy Easter candle. So you can kind of see the difference in color. This one's definitely a brighter pink. In my personal opinion, I really like the Happy Easter candle a lot more than I do the color of the Love candle. I just really like the very subtle pink. The next one that I got is the smaller version Happy Spring. And I will be keeping this one for sure. Like I said, I think I'm gonna return the Happy Easter just because you can keep this one out all spring. These are $7.99. I did forget to mention, I think the $12.99 large Kindles are so overpriced in my opinion. You guys will have to let me know what you think down below, but I think they are very overpriced. This one is also in the scent Pink Peony, the same scent as that one. Again, not my favorite, but it'll be okay because I am just displaying them. The next one that I got, I am so, so excited about. This blue is absolutely stunning, you guys. It is the Bunny Kisses candle, and this is in the scent Marshmallow Berry. This one actually smells pretty good. I actually really like it. I don't know what these would smell like, obviously burning them, but I do enjoy them just smelling them out of the candle. This one's definitely very, very tolerable compared to a lot of her other candles. The next candle is so funny because when me and my friend were shopping up in Denver and we found these, 
This scent smells exactly like Fruity Pebbles. If you guys haven't smelled the yellow Peep Peep candle, if you ever see it, pick it up and at least smell it and let me know if you guys think if it smells like Fruity Pebbles. This is lemon meringue and honestly, I don't know. It just smells like Fruity Pebbles. I can't even smell anything else but Fruity Pebbles when I smell this. So I'm just really happy to have like all three of the candles together. I just think they look very cute. I know there's also a green one as well. I can't remember if we saw the green one or not, but I'm pretty sure we did. I just can't remember exactly what it said on it. The next thing that I got is for my cat. And I had been wanting this bowl for a while, but I feel like it was one of the harder bowls to find. I feel like dog and cat bowls aren't that hard to find, but these were each $3.99. So this is the Feed Me Meow Bowl. And I had seen this when this had first come out and I actually found this on a tank when we went to one of the stores up in Denver. There was like a bunch of stuff. There was like a yellow hot chick or cute chick, whatever the heck that mug says. Um, and then there was this little guy and I thought it was absolutely adorable. So I got her that and then I also got her the drink up one just for her water. I'm going to sell her other bowls that she has. She has the more like oval bowls and they just I don't know I feel like they're hard to keep water and especially it just like spills out automatically so I'm thinking these are going to be a little bit better at least I'm hoping they are the next thing that I got I got in Arizona as well this is a mug and of course all her mugs are $5.99 I got three of these one for me one for my one for my friend and one for my other friend they had a ton of these at the Marshalls that I went to in Arizona. This is the Struggle is Real mug. I absolutely love this saying. If you guys know me in real life, then you've probably heard me say the struggle is real. I say it all the time because the struggle is real and that is life. So I absolutely love it. I have Hot Mess Express as well and I'm trying to downsize my mug collection. So we shall see what I end up keeping and getting rid of, but I thought that one was very cute. The next thing that I got was up in Denver a couple of days ago when I went. This has been on my ISO since last year and I never was able to find them and I really didn't want to like trade anything crazy for them. So I was just hoping that I would find them one day. And it's actually kind of funny because we went into a Marshalls and when you enter, I didn't see these at all. And if I would have went out the same way I came in, I wouldn't have seen these. But thankfully, we came around like the dog area and left the opposite way. But they are the cute little heart egg cups. These do retail for $12.99. The nice thing about these egg cups is that you can keep them up like on display all year long. I am wanting to get a tiered tray for my island area. I don't know if I want to cave and spend that much money right now. Maybe I'll wait until like summertime or something, but it's $80 on Amazon and it's a three tier tray, but it's like rectangular. And I think it would go really well on my island, especially because of how big it is. I need some height and also some width. So we shall see if I end up getting that. I kind of like the setup that I have right now. So we will see what ends up happening. The next thing that I got, I am so excited about you guys. One of the local girls here got this for me. She is such a freaking sweetheart and I'm so, so thankful for again, all of the girls who helped me. I seriously would not have half the stuff that I have without them. My dog is currently wanting my attention. Do you wanna say hi? Come here. Say hello. They haven't seen you in a while, huh? You wanna sit on mama's lap while I film? I don't know how long she's gonna last, but we'll let her sit here for a little bit. But anyways, I got the Baby Candy Hearts canister. I love this thing so much. I posted a picture with that cute little gnome and this canister with the chair from Hobby Lobby. If you don't know what chair I'm talking about, it's in the background. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's in my little hutch back there, but you can go to my Instagram and see it as well. If you guys haven't gone to your local Hobby Lobby and picked one up, definitely do so. It's so cute to decorate and just kind of take pictures with, but this is absolutely adorable. I am such a sucker for every one of the baby canisters. They're so cute and little and just, yeah. 
I'm obsessed if you can't tell. And the last thing that I'm going to share with you guys in today's video is from my friend Megan. I have mentioned her in I think my last video or the one before that. She is the absolute sweetest person ever. She's always helping me out with getting me stuff and shipping it to me. The sweetest girl ever. So I seriously appreciate it, Megan. I am so grateful and I'm so happy to have this piece, which I hope you're getting yours soon or you already have it by the time this video goes live because I know you told me you had ordered another one for you. So it is the pink Easter basket. They do have a blue version and I think it says hop on it or something. I'm not 100% sure, but I am a sucker for everything pink. If you like can't tell by this video, everything is pink. I didn't really think about that with the shirt that I was wearing, considering that half the stuff in today's video is the color of my shirt, but I love this thing. It is absolutely giant, as you can see. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it yet, but we will obviously find a place for it. Here's an up close view of it. I love the coloring of it so much and the nice like twisted detail on the handle. Love, love, love. This will be so cute to decorate with. I think it would be kind of fun to put like some filling, like grass filling or moss or something on the inside and then put like, I don't know what, like maybe like a cute bunny figurine in the middle. We'll find something out. If you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. And of course, I will be filming a decorate with me, which is absolutely crazy that we are already at that point. But Valentine's Day is going to be over very soon and probably over by the time this video is posted. But I don't know how that's going to work if I am going to try to decorate this weekend that this video goes live because I am getting my wisdom teeth out. <laughs> I actually just went to my consultation today and yeah, I am not excited whatsoever. So we shall see. I don't think I'm probably gonna film any videos for at least like a week and a half because obviously I'm not gonna be wanting to come on camera with a huge chipmunk cheeks. So we will see if I end up recording and taking like all my valentine's day stuff down i'm kind of over it to be honest so i think i probably will just take everything down and put up like spring stuff so spring and easter but we shall see if you guys see it then you know that i filmed it but that is going to be it for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel down below if you guys are not already thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye stay marvelous mm -hmm.